Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Precious from Bone Health and Beauty. And today, in today's video, I would like to talk to you guys about decalcification. So I received this question recently on my page after I posted the herbs that I'm using for de decalcification. And the question was, what exactly is calcification? And so I'm going to use this five minutes to answer the question, what is decalcification or what is calcification first? So calcification is simply a process in which calcium builds up in the body, in the tissue, and eventually this causes the tissue to harden. Now, there's several reasons or several things that lead to this, but mostly if we think about it, it's just calcium deposit, and we get calcium from a lot of things, from food, from multivites, from, from water, from a whole lot of things, we get calcium. And when there's excess in the body or when there's a lot of deposit of it, it can make the tissue become hard the same thing called calcification has been linked to several other diseases like arthritis or pain in the joint and if you look online uh, on ways that you can remove the calcification from your body most of it only refers back to laser treatment and it also says that there's almost no way to remove calcification in the joints this is why there's more or less no cure or no remedy for arthritis just a band-aid solution but actually i do not believe that because with herbs with certain herbs you can help your body flush out calcium from the body a lot more. Depending on the location where this tissue hardens, calcification can cause some really, really painful symptoms. If you watched my last video on the herbs that I'm using for decalcification, you would see that I mentioned there that even though I was drinking tea that was very yellow or very brown in color, my urine was always white. Like, I'm still on that same herb for seven days, but my urine was always white. And I kept wondering, what is the chemistry going on inside of my body? But if you think about it now, calcium is usually white. And so when the body's flushing out this, it, of course the urine will be white. I didn't think about it too much then because I just like, okay, something's going on, but I don't know what it is. Because if you are taking herbs, if you are ill, if you didn't drink a lot of water, if you ate certain kind of food, whatever happens in your body after the whole digestive system and the process going on your urine is usually not very white unless you really really drank so much water right so so to think that i was drinking a lot of tea and maybe not enough water but my pee was constantly white now you understand that yes of course there is a process to remove the excess calcium from your body and I think during this whole past days I've been drinking these herbs, I haven't had any other problems. Like there was no bowel movement kind of thing. I did have some twitch twitch around my, my back and my left um, shoulder. I don't know what it was, but it just felt like, okay, some muscle was moving or something was happening there. But it, it really, really just passed very quickly. It was like a spasm, like tick, 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 tick. And that was it. But yes, this is what uh, these herbs help you do. It helps you remove the excess calcium from your body. And of course, we're getting this every day from water, toothpaste, food, multivites, all sorts of things. And it's essential that we can clean the body of this nutrient or this uh, chemical element that is useful to us when it's in moderate amounts, but harmful to us in excess amounts. So if you have some kind of pain in anywhere of your body i mean especially your joints the cartilage or anything i suggest that you look into decalcification first before considering that you have an incurable disease or anything like that of course consult with your doctor this video does not in any way replace any professional or medical help this is just a suggestion that i am you know pursuing and i'm just answering a question that another person had asked but yes there's so many things you can do for yourself out there, but mostly you have to do your research. You have to consult with the professionals. You have to take into account if you have any other underlying uh, disease or illnesses. And then of course, try it slowly <laughs> whatever you decide to try don't do it all at once just take it easy take it slowly and give it time uh, also be sure that you've checked the counter interaction between whatever herbs or whatever okay. kind of food in in contact with your medical or your pills or medicines that you know will be prescribed to you 
so guys i hope this answers the question because really calcification should be something that we know, we all know but it doesn't seem to be very popular it doesn't seem to be something everybody's talking about but yes it affects us maybe not now maybe later maybe in the near future but continuous deposits of calcium in our blood can be detrimental to our health in the near future so try some decalcification so I hope this answers your question about decalcification or calcification itself. You can read online some more about this. Uh, there's so many articles, there's so many blog posts, there's so many medical reviews, evidence-based medicines, and all sorts of things about calcium and decalcification So, or calcification itself. So go online guys, read about it. Also, you can check my blog post because I will make a post about this and you can get some more information there. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you all tomorrow in my next video. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, leave me a comment, um, engage with me, anything. <laughs> see you all tomorrow. Stay safe.